Hello, this is chapter 1 nutrition and living organisms plant class 7 and this is the solution of chapter 1 fill in the blanks animals are heterotrophs as they cannot synthesize their own food the roots of a plant absorb water and minerals from the soil during photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide you can write co2 as well and release oxygen that is o2 stomata are the tiny pores through which leaves exchange gases Fifth, insect-eating plants are called insectivorous plants, an essential raw material needed for the process of photosynthesis and available in soil is water and minerals, available in air is carbon dioxide. This is matched the following, chlorophyll is matched with leaf, lichen is matched with symbiotic relationship, fungi is matched with saprotrops. And Amarbel, here's which Amarbel is parasite and plant is leaf. And this one is tick the correct option. Green plants that can synthesize their own food are known as autotrophs. The food factory of the plant is its leaf. Which of the following is an insectivorous plant? This is pitcher plant. Mushroom is an example of saprotrop. Fifth, an organism that fixes nitrogen in soil is rhizobium. Now, this is short answer type. Answer the following question in brief. Question number one, why is nutrition important for a living organism? Answer is, nutrition is important for a living organism because it enables living organisms to build their bodies, to grow, to repair damaged parts of their bodies, and to provide the energy to carry out life processes. Question number two, how do green plants synthesize their food? Green plants synthesize their food by the process of photosynthesis. State the role of vessels present in a plant. Vessels are channels to transport water, mineral, minerals to different parts of the plant. Let's move to the next question number four. Define the following terms. Symbiotic relationship. Answer is symbiotic re relationships as sometimes two organisms leaves in close association and develop a relationship that is beneficial to both. This is called symbiotic relationship. Nutrients. Nutrients are the components of food such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals which are necessary for our body are called nutrients. Saprotropic mode of nutrition. Saprotropic mode of nutrition is the process in which the organisms feed on dead and decaying matter. And the D is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is very simple. The process in which green plants prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and chlorophyll are called photosynthesis. Question number 5. When some weed dough was left in the open for a few days, it started emitting a foul smell statewide. The weed dough left in open for a few days start emitting a foul smell due to the action of fungi and bacteria that grow on it. These organisms are called saprotrophs, which obtain food from dead and decaying organic material. Matter. E part answered the following questions. This is long answer type. Why would life not be possible on earth in the absence of photosynthesis? Life would not be possible on the earth in the absence of photosynthesis as in absence of photosynthesis, there would be no plants. No plants mean no oxygen gas and no food which is essential for survival for all living organisms. Hence, we can say that all animals directly or indirectly depend on plant, so there won't be any life. Give reason for the following. Mushrooms is a saprotop. Mushroom does not contain chlorophyll, so it does not make their own food by photosynthesis. It gets its food from dead and decaying matters. That's why it is known as saprotrop. B. Sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms. Plants use sunlight to make their food by the process of photosynthesis. This food is then consumed by all the animals and human beings directly or indirectly. Hence, sun is the ultimate source of and C. Part, the leaf of a plant dies out if its stomata are blocked. Stota stomata are the tiny pores that are present in the surface of leaves that help in photosynthesis by exchanging the gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. If stomata of a leaf are blocked, it cannot make their food and the leaf dies out. D. Leaf is known as the food factory of the plant. Answer. The leaf of a plant synthesizes its food by the process of photosynthesis. Hence, it is known as the food factory of the plant. Lichen 
is a living partnership between a fungus and an alga and this partnership is beneficial to both so answer is lichen is a living partnership between a fungus and an alga the fungus absorb water and provide shelter and alga which is green in color prepare food by photosynthesis food by the photosynthesis hence the partnership is beneficial to both which is known as symbiotic relationship question number 3 why do some plants feed on insects how does a pitcher plant catch insects some plants feed on insects for their nitrogen requirements these plants are called insectivorous plants pitcher plant is known as example of this type of plant the leaf of this plant gets modified to form a pitcher with a lid when an insect enters it cannot climb back out against the hairs and ultimately falls to the bottom of the leaf and gets digested by the juices present there and nutrients of insect is absorbed question number 4 how do rhizobium bacteria and leguminous plants help each other in their survival rhizobium is a bacterium that lives in the roots of the leguminous plants and the plants in symbiotic relationship which is beneficial to each other it converts nitrogen from the atmosphere into a usable form that can be utilized by the plants the plants in turn provide food and shelter to the bacteria complete the web chart this is simple one just so plant this way you can complete sunlight plant prepare food in the presence of sunlight carbon dioxide water and chlorophyll and carbon carbon dioxide is obtained from what no air water is absorbed by root chlorophyll is present in the leaves and the result in the formation of glucose is formed and oxygen is released value based the teacher told her student the story of film those she told them that in that film the friendship between a visually challenged boy and a lame boy a lame boy means uh, who is unable to walk helps them both to face and overcome the very many challenges of their day to day to day life she went on to compare their friendship with the symbiotic relationship between two organisms now suggest any two values that according to you must have been there in two friends of the film those so two values are helpfulness and integrity they were there for each other in which uh, in what way is the friendship between the two boys similar to the symbiotic relationship between two organisms so this is the friendship between the two boys similar to the symbiotic relationship between two organisms as both are complementing or helping each other by what they have and others don't this relationship is helping each other and making their life beautiful and meaningful thank you